Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Something bugs with my computer. So uh, I'm really Han from Hotel Robotics, and uh, it's been an honor for me to stand here and give you a brief introduction about our product. Uh, oh, no, anyway. So our uh, company, Hotel Robotics, was actually uh, founded in 2014. In the past nine years, we have been developing, manufacturing for the uh, drones, including the multi-rotor and also some uh, tilt-rotor fiddle wing. Uh, in the past nine years, we have been doing that, and now we have become one of the uh, leading brands in China and also in the new uh, in a nationwide brands. So headquartered in a Shenzhen city, we have also we have also uh, a subsidiary in USA in Bothell near Seattle, and we also have two uh, factories, one in Shenzhen, one the other one is in Vietnam, for different countries' uh, delivery and also shipment. So uh, because we This is our uh, product portfolio. So you can see from the photo that we do not only uh, not, not, not only provide this kind of a smaller one, but also the middle to bigger sized one. And we also produce our payload and also some uh, ecosystem products like Nest and also RCs. So all of these things ab above are actually our self-made, self-developed, and also self-manufactured. Because uh, we have been in this uh, industry for nearly 10 years, we uh, collect voices, we collect the feedback from market, from customers. So that's why we know that what customers need and we need to explore more to find, to, to meet their request. So that's why here today I'm bringing you guys up this brand new software for mapping from our company. It's called Hotel Mapper. Well, Hotel Mapper is actually one of the quickest mapping software in the industry and it will bring you 2D and 3D reconstruction models and results in a very quick way, in a professional way, and in the cost-effective way. So let's go from the first one. First one is actually the 2D reconstruction. This, I believe, this should be the one of the basic fundamental functions for all the mapping processing software. So for ours, we can we can produce the DOS, uh, D D DOM and DOSM result for you guys, and also it uh, it will uh, generate I think there's uh, eight p how eight thousand pieces of pictures in six hours, and also uh, if you are using our RTK module, you can realize a five centimeter level accuracy, and this is our two uh, D one. So we made, we actually made some comparison between our product and also our competitors. Just so you can see from four photos here. The first one is our mapper. And next one is uh, someone from T, some R. And also this one is uh, next one is for the P, some, some D. And last one is the D, some come drawing some deploy. So you can see from the quality that we have taken the pictures from the roof. And there was kind of a shadows in some of this. Uh, results when they uh, when their uh, mapping processing generate a result but you see here the red arrow here our clear uh, is uh, image is better it's better seems to be better and uh, clear and clear so uh, well I think that actually the 2d uh, reconstruction is uh, is actually what we have now but for this one we call that 2d 2.5d quick station is I suppose to be the unique features in the in entire industry. This one is actually, we have two kind of uh, ways to realize it. First one is that you can import the photos you have taken and you just use that to generate a result or you can use, do it in a unique way that is uh, when you fly your drone, you can get back the result. I will show you a video about that, how it, it works. This is actually a screen recording from our real mission. You can see if you're, you just generate your new mission mission plan, use your RC, you can set the height, set the speed, 
and also the action of the each waypoint. And when you done a, uh, you have done this job, you can uh, just upload the missions from the RC to the drone. Second step is to set up the, uh, the connection between your drone and also your PC to run this mapper. You have an IP address, you just enter IP address and make them connected with e each other. There's IP address is present in actually in the left corner of the computer. So now the, the drone goes to the mission and you see there are two layers of the uh, map on, on this one. The basic layer is actually the pre-taken image on the map. But here is what your drone goes and you get that the real-time image and also modeling in the real time when the, while the drone is actually flying. So after the mission ends, you just end this function. It lands and uh, you get it 2.5D result immediately after the, the mission is over. And it, this, this looks like uh, this is actually the result you get from the previous mission. It's very quick, very professional, and very efficient. Normally, this feature can be used for some kind of a after disaster uh, evaluation and some kind of a traffic jam, tra 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 traffic accident, where the participant has to uh, conclude, uh, record evidence as the uh, as any kind of information, and then just to clear them away. So you need you really need fast time to set up the connection and also generate the modeling there. And the third feature is the 3D reconstruction. So for here, because you, you need, need more details, so in here we just we, we can produce the 10,000 pieces of uh, images in 18 hours, and it also we could realize a uh, five meter centimeter accuracy via our RTK module, which is externally uh, bounded on the, our uh, device. And the format could be B3DUM, OSGB, OBG, or PLY. Again, compares between ours and others. So you see here, actually, uh, well, there are some kind of detailed information in these this framework pictures. You see, in the PD, that one, some of the texture from, texture from the tree, from the trunk, has been moved to the uh, polygon. I have to do a pylon power here. And also, the T some are here. Some missing features are missing, and last one is even let's say worse because it's like a most part of the uh, body, the tower body is just missing, and you uh, there's so many kind of a texture in the tree from the was moving from tree to that body. So let's say the more, more details we can do it in a more uh, detailed way. The other one is uh, also, uh, we have to pull three because uh, you see here, uh, the actual height of this, this tower is actually 45 meters. So uh, this part, we the result from our test is actually 45.52 meters. Well, the PD got the very accurate, very accurate figure, but for Terra, it's like a more, you know, more way. We don't put a D point here because that uh, there are some bugs there that the top of the figure cannot be uh, obtained by the software. So we just put this three. And so you see here we have a higher combination, but with a uh, high difference from minus 30, 39 to 44 meters, uh, four centimeters, sorry. And we are still trying to make it even lower in this part of the accuracy. And aerial triangulation is actually uh, also another fundamental fun fun function for our users. So we can deal with large scale of data in a stable and in a very efficient way. Coming up, uh, coming following that is a point cloud. That's point cloud. So uh, we will we will add very dense point cloud in in the images to improve the connectivity and also to modify or calibrate those uh, artifacts or deformations in those models so to give you a more accurate, more comprehensive uh, modeling without any kind of uh, defects there. Again, the comparison. Uh, as for the efficiency here, 
uh, every uh, triangulation plus the dense point cloud for every point brands here. Hours use uh, less than one hour, while some models use just 10 hours and also one and almost one and a half hours. So in terms of efficiency, I would say our product, our, for, uh, our software could give you more, could save you more time in terms of this kind of uh, complex modeling. Well, next speech is actually uh, an example of uh, how we do its post-processing modeling. You create a project name, let's say reconstruction. And you select the image folder from your uh, from the mission you take, and you just select them all. This is actually actual, uh, actual uh, images that they take. So you import them and start modeling from the processor. You can set this like uh, uh, camera parameters and also some kind of uh, post data. And this is actually the position of every photo, the, every uh, position that a, a drone takes. So. Uh, the quality can be uh, selected as medium, high, or low. It depends on the, your real request. But higher uh, quality takes more time to realize. Now it's actually finished. The model is finished. And you can see the detailed of the tree of that uh, tower and also the the villa in, a, in there. It's very precise and very, very professional here. And here you can also use the uh, measurement to test the height or the area or the volume of the uh, any objects in the in this kind of a uh, area image. So that is this. Well, the last part is actually the pricing. Well, as we said, we are more cost effective. So we just presented uh, our list the pricing here. Well, uh, we have actually two ways of uh, payment. One is the uh, perpetual payment for use it once for all, or you can choose to description in a kind of uh, two ways, monthly or uh, annually. And uh, for some of the, uh, and also we will provide you with a 90 days free trial if you download the website, uh, the product in our website. And uh, you will say some kind of a uh, products are more even cheaper, but in some kind of way we are more con considering the quality and uh, and the, the results. Well, we say that is uh, in a very more cost-effective way. So that is actually uh, the basic introduction of our product here. And uh, if there are you you guys have some questions or not, it's just uh, for some of you guys it's m maybe first time to hear our brand here. But uh, if you are doing some business in Europe. Well, our brand is, has, has some reputation, uh, reputation here. And uh, if you have, do not have, our booth locates in uh, D uh, Hall 5, D5.20. That is our booth. And you are welcome to there and have, we have uh, more uh, uh, further discussion and also further discussion with you guys. And that is my uh, presentation here. Thanks for listening, guys.